Evening guys, Johnny here, aka Runaway666, back again to do a review of possibly the shittest toy ever made, but I'm a pig, I got it anyway. Um, Classics Megatron, because why not? The Nerf gun. But before I do that, the uh, reason why I'm doing a review, because it's been a month since I did one, that's point number one. Excuse me, and, and mainly because I got told that we're putting the band back together. No, not the band that play musical instruments, but the band of reviewers that used to do reviews back in the old days of 2008 upwards. Okay, we're going to do this a bit like the Avengers movie. So Iron Man's going to start it off. Iron Man is Gerard. We're going to get the Hulk, which is Mr. Tatimus. But you don't have the smaller character on there for me. So I'm going to be joining on. I know a few of the guys like Baz and that have joined on to come in back to do reviews. And it'll be fucking brilliant that everyone's doing it. Oh, the kids are in bed and I can swear. Fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. Anyway. Going to be doing a video on Classics Megatron. Now, he's not his usual Walther P38 U-N-C-L-E, or as that spells, Uncle, from the film, or TV film, TV show and film, The Man From Uncle. This is a Nerf, um, what is it, Maverick, is what that is, which is basically a pistol, but with revolver and scope. And in that mode, it's actually quite cool. The guy with a little hand like me, it fits. I don't know how big guys would cope with that. More like a noisy cricket off Men in Black. Uh, but there we go. It's got funky design. White. Cool detail there. Bit of green there. Scope there. Not that you can see anything. Trigger. It's got a nice click to it. Orange barrel. Why did they make that orange? I don't know. It's orange at the end there. Purple handle, black handle, that's about it. You can even do something like you used to do with Shockwave. You can balance it like so. Not sure why you'd want to, but there we are. It's a toy gun. Uh, but there we go. To transform it, you do this. You open the shell up. And there you go. There is all the inter internal workings. You pull that up like that. You pull that up like that. You spin that. It's got a bit of the older G1 necessary crying trigger. because Crying trigger. Groin trigger. Sorry. You flip that up from there upwards. You turn that round and fold that to like so. You bring the body up. You turn it round. That clicks into place. You flip the arm over. That clicks into place. 180. Of the lovely ratchet sound, as Mr. I Love Mess would say. You get his hand from inside there. You flick it out. You go like so. This bit is a bit easier. Click that into there like so. The ratchet sound comes out again. Flip the hand out. If you saw that, you flip the hand out from under there. You shut that door. You flip that round. You get his hand cannon. That clicks into place. That bit that you flip round there. There's a peg. There's a peg. There's a part. That clicks into place like so. Take the feet. You flick them out. If you've got nails and not like me who bites them. You do that, you slide the shin pads up, you flick the orange bit down, fold the head up, bosh. And there you have, can you get it in there with my big head? There you go. Classics Megatron. He's a Voyager, so he's quite big. But all that was fitted in to um, the gun mode. There's his head, can you see his head very well? As you can see it. If I do that, will that help focus? There you go. There's his head. Oh, Decepticon symbol. B 
bit of the old light pipe in there, so if I do that. Bit of the old light pipe in there. Blink, blink, blink. Back cable. I don't know what this is entailed to do, but there we go. That reminds me there, if you've got the City Commander set, it's a bit like the City Commander so, gun. So, gun. I'll get the fucking words out tonight, I really can't. Um, it's got pretty good articulation. Full ratchet sound. 360 head. You can look up and down. You can move your head side to side, look side to side. You can make him do the can can. You can make him do the splits if you really want to. Not that I never understand why you want to make a transformer do the splits. But you can. He's got knee articulation. He hasn't got any feet articulation, but why would you? And he's got a cannon on the side of his arm. Which, there you go. It fits it so bloody well. Um, what do I think of this toy on a scale of 1 to 10? Um, <clears throat> robot uh, Gun mode. Six out of ten because it's it's cool. I like guns. It's quite cool. Um, transformation. It's five. Robot. Three. Um, as far as I know, this hasn't been repainted that much. I know they did a Henke version, in silver, um, but it is of the line of quite a few funky fig good figures like the Optimus Prime, uh, the Rodimus. Of the uh, star screen mold, you know, they did a lot of repaints out of some of the classics figures. This one, I don't believe, has been repainted that many times, but there he is in green and purple and cool. And it's probably one of the only Transformers that I've got that isn't a hot rod or a sound wave. Uh, but <clears throat> there we go. So that's him. I've done seven minutes of rambling i probably rushed this and i don't really know i don't really care the only thing i want to say is this boys and girls that the crew the old boys are coming back um it'd be brilliant if any of the old reviewers are watching my videos or if you speak to some of the older reviewers that have not done a video in a long time to get on the blower with those guys and let them know because it'd be so cool to get the guys back together just do some videos. And I'm not being funny. I don't do these videos for views anymore. I can't give a shit how many people watch my videos. I'm doing it because I want to do it. I want to have a laugh. I can't give a fuck. To be perfectly honest. I could really not give a fuck what people think of my videos. If you like them, brilliant. If you don't, I don't care. If you don't like me, I don't care. Never have, never will. All right, so i just here to have a good time. If I insult some people in doing so and people take the piss out of me, then I've gained something, haven't I? I've done something. All right, boys and girls, but anyway, listen, this is Roddyware666, formerly known as Dwarf Porn Star, known to many as Johnny, or what the alternative swear word you could put into there. Um, it's a review of Classics Megatron. Uh, probably my next review will be on something... I don't know. I don't know. It's on something. Possibly um, a classics figure. That's about it. But anyway, guys, it's been brilliant to be back doing a video. It's been brilliant talking to some of the old reviewers. It's been brilliant just being brilliant. So in the words of me, in a bit, have a good one and enjoy. Bye. Have a good day, guys.